I thought it would be a good opportunity to go check out a new island called Java. And um, it's actually a place where I've never been before. And I heard real good things about this volcano called Bromo. I heard it's uh, real good for free ride mountain biking, for finding lines, and hopefully for finding jumps. Getting to Bromo was actually a real mission for us. It took us so long. We were driving for 16 hours and we even had to get a boat from the island of Bali to the island of Java. When we got there, it was almost night. We actually got to see the sunset as soon as we got there and uh, it, was, it was stunning. It felt like we landed on a totally different planet. There was not just one volcano, but a few, and the area looked like Mars. So the first day we were there, we asked the locals to hook us up with some motorbikes so we could explore the place quickly. It's 6 a.m. and uh, we got a couple motors to check the zone and uh, see if we find some jumps. It's not as perfect as we thought it was gonna be, just cause it rains so much and everything is so rutted, especially in the bottom of, the, of these little valleys. There's huge rivers and huge holes. We're gonna start digging soon. We got a little crew of locals that are willing to help us out. I actually thought it was gonna be way easier to build jump and to find better dirt. But since it was still rain season, the dirt was actually really hard. And under the hard surface, there was sand. That made it super hard to find a good spot to build jump and to pack the dirt. I mean, it, it went out perfect. Everyone did a good job. The locals helped out perfect, and uh, I'm really happy with it now. All right, we're done for the day. We got bad weather coming in. We already hear the thunder, so it's bad if we take off. The locals told us it's pretty sketchy here because it's flat and all the thunders hit the ground, so we better start moving. That same night, we decided to camp on top of the mountain, which was actually freezing cold. I didn't expect that it was gonna be that cold. I only brought a hoodie and a little small jacket. So um, I had to sleep with my pants on, with my shoes on in the tent. And I was actually pretty uncomfortable. But the night wasn't that long, cause we woke up at 3 a.m. and we started a whole new mission. As soon as the light came out, I hiked real quick up to the rim. So I took those stairs, went up, and all of a sudden I was about to ride on the crater rim. And it was actually insane because the, the crater is so big and the smoke is constantly coming out. There's not many locations like Mount Bromo in the world where you can actually ride on an active volcano. I feel really blessed to be part of this experience. It was uh, amazing to be there and I personally feel that we just scratched the surface of the spot. I really want to go back, maybe spend a few more days to explore and uh, build better lines and better jumps.